I was uh, um, taught and mentored by a guy named Sir Jinx. Uh, Sir Jinx used to be Ice Cube's DJ and producer. I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'm gonna let this these uh these uh words from the great Flavor Flav and Ice Cube himself tell a little tell you a little something about Sir Jinx, and uh, just remember, like I said, to like, subscribe, and and hit the notification button for more videos like this. Uh, it is what it is, man. Comment, tell me what you think about. It. What Ice Cube had to say about why him and Jinx no longer works together. Check it out. You had to find people that was into the scratching and the breaking and the dancing and the graffiti and the this and the that. So uh -huh. luckily, my man, Sir Jinx, who lived right down the street from me, you know Jinx. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 remember, remember Jinx? Talk about Jinx. Yeah, yeah, that's my, my, he, my man. He lived down the street from me, and he was the only one I knew that was that close that was spinning on cardboard, you know, turntables. Just he was into the B-Boy stuff. Right. So I start to hang with Jinx, write raps. Over, you know, he had the instrumentals, you know what I mean? And just right. hone in my style until, yeah. you know, Dr. Dre is his cousin. So until... I ain't know that. Yeah, Dr. Dre is Jinx's cousin. Wow. This is how the connection comes. Okay. Dre ended up moving into Jinx's house. So okay. I had, you know, a lot of access to be with Dre... Cause he was right down the street, and he and was Dre, in, he was, was in the DJ, wrecking crew. Yeah. yeah, he was he was a DJ in the wrecking crew. <laughs> also, do you remember the time? Damn. Remember the time you had to break up the fight with Jinx with and Jinx Epitome? and Epitome? <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Yeah, and, and we were coming. I think we were coming street. from the from 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 our the Red Parrot or something. And you lost your keys, like Yo, you was looking for no. your keys and shit. Yeah, I was looking for my keys, and you know why I couldn't find my keys because. Epitome and Jinx was fighting, and, a, and Epitome grabbed my whole set of keys and threw them at Jinx. Oh, yeah, that's That right. night, yeah. and my keys went all over the street and everything, <laughs> man. Damn, Q, you yeah, got a I good memory that, like man. a mother. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Damn. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> like, what's up, man? You jumped out. What's up? Why yeah. y'all doing this? Why y'all yeah, fighting, yeah, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to break that family. shit up. What's going on? I had to break that shit up, They man. was fighting because uh, crazy. They was both sick of driving. What happened with you and Jinx, man? Why did you all? Why did you guys split apart? Well, because y'all were tighter than Batman and Robin for a minute. Yeah, I think it was a situation where, you know, we was on the road one time and um, and, and an issue happened with our road manager. Okay, and Jinx and. It hurt him, man, and he was just kind of done with the whole, you know, performing. He wanted to lead the road. You know, he was yeah. just he was kind of at his wits' end. Um, so he left the tour. And then, So it was Jinx that left, huh? Yeah, Jinx left the tour. We was in Toronto. And then that's when I, you know, we was kind of scrambling. I had to have T-Bone DJ for a few shows. And then I brought in DJ Crazy Tunes. Well, I remember Dub Crazy C Brother. Tunes. But, but, but was Jinx upset at you personally? I mean, why did nah. he leave you? you know, I, don't, I, I mean, y'all y'all started this shit. I don't know exactly it's why. It's like, y'all started this shit. This is the thanks you get? <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, you know, it was a situation where I don't know if he wanted to be with the crew, part of it. You know, when he left and I stayed on the road, he started working on other groups like Exhibit and, and just kind of establishing his own thing right, away right. from the lynch mob and and things like that. So, you know, it was probably a combination of things, you know. Um, right. You know, sometimes when you work together so long, so close for so many years, yeah. you just need a break. See, let me tell you, man, when I first... Um Started staying out in L.A. in 2003. I came mm -hmm. out here. And uh, I was staying with my friend Princess, mm -hmm. right? And we stayed on 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 Fairfax and Burbank. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know right down the street on Fairfax 
with Jinx crib. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I learned that Jinx was on Fairfax down there, I used to always go down and see Jinx all the time and shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Go down there and shit, you know, chill with Jinx and everything. And one day I went down to Jinx crib and there was this brother named Norris. He was working with Steve Harvey's Big Time Show. Remember the Big Time Show yeah. that Steve Harvey had, you know, with all yeah. kinds of circus acts and shit like that going mm. on? So he was like, yo, Flav, man, look, man, I'm an editor for, for the Steve Harvey Show, man. I want you to come to the show with me, man. Just come to the show with me, man, and, and just sit in the audience. They'll put you on the camera, this and that, that and this. None of that I don't think would have happened if I wasn't... Hanging out with Sir Jinx. Hey, you know. Because yeah. I had good times with Jinx. Man. Yeah, That's he's a good dude. That's my dude. dude man. He's a good are dude. You, how are you guys today, man? Are y'all y'all, y'all, y'all you tight know, now? Y'all still cool? What's going on? You know, it's family. So, you you know, you had your ups and your downs. You know, he's mad at me. But uh, I still to love him. To this day, he's still mad at you? Yeah, you know, he's a little mad at me. But I still love him. And I know he still love you, too. Without a doubt. I don't give a fuck how mad. Just like me and Chuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know Chuck might be a little mad at me. I may be a little mad at Chuck, this business shit, but I still love him. Without a doubt, man. You know we go I'm back, saying? you know, to this you know, to elementary school together. So Right. You know, we can't forget about that. Right, right, right. Shit. 